Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at On Earth as in Heaven, a new book from N.T. Wright. I get messages every day from people who are watching my videos and have questions about the Bible or specific Bibles that they're interested in checking out. And often people ask me for tips or suggestions on Bible study resources. And one of my favorite things to do, in addition to just getting up in the morning and reading the Bible, just reading the Bible for, it, for itself, is to get a devotional book or something that will kind of spark some interest, something short that I can read. There's some theological insight, usually about Scripture, that sort of thing. A good example is My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. That's a classic. A lot of people know that. That one. I've had a copy of that ever since I was in high school in some way, shape, or form. Love that book. I return to it all the time. I have a book of daily readings written by C.S. Lewis. In that similar vein is this new book from N.T. Wright called On Earth as in Heaven. It was actually edited by his son, Oliver Wright. And what this is, is a 365-day kind of devotional with readings from a bunch of N.T. Wright's most popular and most successful books that he's written over the last 25, 30 years. Really, really interesting book. I, I, it's got some of the best material from M.T. Wright, kind of the highlights, really short snippets that you can read in just a couple of minutes to kind of have some encouragement and insight to start your day. And I love that it's scheduled to go from Easter to Easter. It's kind of inspired by the church calendar. It starts at Easter, it goes and works its way through like the seven seasons of the church calendar liturgically, and then it goes through that entire thing. So it's really shaped for you to pick it up around Easter and then to read daily and to go through an entire year. And it's kind of kind of flow with the different seasons of the church calendar, but it uses a bunch of material that N.T. Wright has already written. So some of his most popular books that a lot of people know and recognize, maybe you've read them in their entirety, you're going to get snippets of a lot of different stuff. So A, if you're a fan of N.T. Wright, this book lets you kind of recap some of the things you may have already read. B, if you've never read any of his stuff, this is a good kind of first course to, to taste a lot of different things that he's written and some of his insight. I, there's a really great introduction in here from Tom Wright that he kind of shares about what this is and how it works, that sort of thing. And then you get into it, and it's just readings day by day. So I'm going to do a quick overhead now and show you what it looks like so you can get a closer look. But I really like this. I think it, I'm, I'm excited for me to dive in this Easter and spend a year with this book. I, I don't think it's going to take much time every day. I think it's going to be really, really meaningful. So let's take a closer look at On Earth as in Heaven. Okay, from the outside, really beautiful cover. Look at that. Really nice design. This is actually like raised on here. All of that yellow part, really, really beautiful. Big pop on the side, on earth as in heaven. You see this is published by Harper Collins, Harper One. Some quotes on the back there about what this is. So let's just open this up real quick. So you see the, um, also by N.T. Wright, more books. You see the subtitle here is Daily Wisdom for 21st Century Christians. Edited by Oliver Wright, that's N.T. Wright's son, which I think that's a really cool project for a son and father to work on. So here's the copyright information, 2022, who designed it, all that stuff. Then you have the, the content, so those different sections, right? So Easter, Ascension, Pentecost, Advent, Christmas, Lent, all of those things are there, and then they have some different themes. These are themes that kind of play into a lot of N.T. Wright's writing. They have different headings for each ones of those. So... Get in here, it's, it's very, very normal, kind of like paper, like a novel, kind of that uh, beige-ish paper, really lovely print. This has, by my measurements, about an 11 to 12 point typeface, really generously spaced. There's a preface, preface here from N.T. Wright, writing from his office at Oxford, and he's um, talking about what this is and how it works and kind of the process that they went through to make it, and then we get into the actual book itself. So again, Easter is where this book starts. It goes from Easter to Easter. We start with a text here of Scripture. This is from John chapter 20, the Kingdom New Testament. If you're not familiar with that, that's N.T. Wright's translation of the New Testament. He worked on that as he was doing his New Testament for Everyone series. Most, A lot of times commentary writers are asked to kind of do their own translation. So as he worked on that, they ended up piling it all together and publishing it as the Kingdom New Testament. And then you so so here's the first entry. It's called Now is the Time. It starts right there. It goes... This little section on one page, 
then on to, this, on to the next page. So it's just a little devotional kind of prompt from his writing. You see this one is from his book, very famous, Surprised by Hope from pages 29 and 30. I love that because if you if something sparks here, you highlight it, you underline it, now you know where to go if you want to get more context for where this sat in the book. You want to read more from that. Then you get to the next one. Again, doesn't even go a full page. That's from his book called Simply Good News. This one right here, this is going to take you literally less than a few seconds, less than a minute to read this little uh, excerpt from Surprised by Hope. But that's one day's reading. And so you have 365 of these. They're not massive. There's some, here's some that are a little bit longer, but everything can be read in a few minutes. And it's just a little bit of encouragement, some insight, and a lot of it is themed to these parts of the liturgical calendar year that we're in. I think that is really, really cool. And you just march through it. So if you do one of these a day, by the time you get to the end, you're back to Easter the next year. And it gets us there almost at the very end. So there we go. A new year for Easter. 365 readings, all from the writing of N.T. Wright, compiled by his son, Oliver. You have about a week there as Easter goes by maybe a little bit more getting right into Easter. Here's the bibliography, so you can see all, if you want to freeze frame this, you can see all of the different titles that are represented in this book, so all the different books from N.T. Wright that have little excerpts in here. One page bibliography, and then a couple of blank pages if you want to take some notes along your way, write it down. Really simple, really clean. I think this is going to be one of those things you can leave by your bed. You can read it when you wake up in the morning. You can have it with your coffee at the, at the kitchen table. Maybe you want to read it before you go to bed tonight. That sort of thing. Just going straight through. Um, I've, I've read most of these books that are in here and have really enjoyed them. Um, really books that make me think. And I think that's what this is going to do. It's going to be a year of little small sections that are going to make you think, that are going to inspire you, encourage you, challenge you sometimes, which is really good. So that's on earth as in heaven. So there you have it, on earth as in heaven from N.T. Wright. I'm excited about this. I've spent some time with it to prepare for this review and checked out a bunch of the different sections of this book. I think it's really great. Little small snippets like I just showed you. You can read those in a few minutes. Something to kind of just get you thinking about God, get you thinking about some theological ideas as you start your day, maybe as you end your day, however you want to read it. I'm going to be going through this starting this Easter. I'm going to spend a year with this book. Maybe I'll do some updates along the way. But if you have any questions about this, Leave those in the comments and let me know. If you've picked up a copy of this book and you're already diving into it, leave me a comment let me know that as well. I've got a lot of other videos here on my channel. Uh, some book reviews, Bible reviews, unboxing videos, just a lot of Bible-related content. So definitely hit that like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and surf around my channel and find more videos that may be of interest to you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.